Scotland are right up against it. An opening day defeat, which their boss attributed to opening day nerves. Whatever the reason, what is absolutely clear is that they need to avoid defeat now. Should they lose again, then their presence in the competition is hanging by a thread. They will be desperate to avoid that state of affairs. It's a stressful day and a big performance is needed. The Olympico, a venue that has an old school feel about it. Everybody standing for the national anthem of the Netherlands. Scotland faced here with what can already be a make-or-break game. Yeah, Peter, I think it's true that another defeat could spell curtains, but as a, a glass-half-full person, hopes and dreams are still intact. And this can be the start of a revival that the doubters are not quite expecting. Their motivation can be taken from a wish to shove it back down their throats. So it's down to business here. Jim, who do you reckon is pivotal? Yeah, Virgil van Dijk. He's just about unbeatable in every department, Peter. He's strong, he's quick, he's totally dominant in the air. And what's more, he seems to really love a tussle. His passing's good too, and he never seems to lose it in important areas. I'd expect this team to notch up a lot of clean sheets with him on board. I must agree, especially in view of his ability to lead and organise the defence. Barbell tries to clear. Has a pop! Oh, denied brilliantly! Well, what can I say? Truly wonderful goalkeeper. Doesn't need a second invitation, even from that range. Blint. Barbel. Vinealdum. Barbel. The Netherlands are playing with a pleasing width here, especially that front line. Is it working for you? Um, it's not movement for the sake of it, and yes, it is working for me. There's a purpose to, to create space. Fraser tries to switch the play. chance and a real let off a oh, good play all round he was well hustled and, and still got a shot away Van Dijk no change to the score, nil-nil it remains. Blint. Has gone out.
Made towards the front men. Well, that's where he wants it. Van Dijk. Blint. Looking cross-field, changing the point of attack. Tries to get it forward quickly. Wijnaldum. Attempts to play it through. Gorgeous control there. And Dyke plays it forward. Good idea, just poorly executed. The referee's awarded a free kick. Oh, nice touch. Pumps it into the area. And the finish! No attempt, just the wrong outcome. Memphis Depay did give it a fair old crack and he'll be encouraged to step up again. Gets into some space. Whipped in. They've been given a corner. Gets up to head it! Goal, Scotland! Great corner, and he did the rest. Well, as contact goes, that was tremendous, and it helped him to direct it exactly where he wanted into that net. I think when it comes to the area of the park, this fella is definitely no sledge. So we have our breakthrough. Still a fragile lead, though. They can't afford to sit on this. The road. Scotland leading by one and looking very comfortable on it. Barbell. In comes the cross. Defending of the desperate variety. Drives it towards the front. It's a long pass, but not the most accurate. Van Dijk. Keeps everyone guessing. And it's Vinaldum. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. Chance to break. Can't get the better of his opposite number. And it's the whistle for half time. So there you have it, a close sport half of football, but one that still had its moments, but ultimately produced just one goal. A more than decent game up to now. I'm sure they'll be very happy with the first half performance and the scoreline. They'll definitely want to maintain their momentum now and finish the job. Scotland head into the dressing room, pleased with the thought that they have that all-important lead. Analysis to come during the break. That's the start of the second half. 
Scotland carrying a one-goal lead. And here's the pie. Done very well to intervene. Steered forward. Well positioned to make that interception. The room. Oh, that's neat. He's in space and looking for options. He's come loose. They've managed to get it away. Blint. Blint with the crossfield ball. He's come through and he's had a quick look inside. Good run, ultimately thwarted by an astute piece of defending. Crowd appreciates good football all round there. Well, he just had too many touches and he was asking for it to be pinched off. And that's clear cut, it's a free kick. It's a very good battle there, terrific to watch. Fraser, now the counter. Scotland are still that goal to the good. Blint. The room. Jim, what are you thinking? Well, Peter, if they're attempting to see out the game with such a, a narrow advantage, there's room for trouble. Uh, I just think they're sending out the wrong message. This could backfire. Battles to win it back. The Netherlands are definitely going about this the right way. Well, this isn't the time to talk about risks now, Jim, is it? They just have to hurl everything at it and hope for a break. Just has to be done. Being played forward, questions were asked, but he's given the answers. Time for a change in personnel. That's a good throw at all, really. He's given away possession cheaply, and the weighted pass. He's found his man. Bubble. Loose ball. Who's going to get that? Gets good distance on it. The Netherlands get it back again. Well, they can break here. Looks to dink one in. Oh, sweet feet. Scotland have a free kick. Well, that's a booking, always looked it. Good challenge, he just stood firm. He's through. This is good ball retention, and it should be enough from here, but they want to double their advantage. And back to base. The licks. The 
Breakthrough came in the final moments of the first period, and the score is 1-0. Just brushed off the ball there. Quick glance at goal. Look, with time running out, they have to get the ball in the penalty box, and if it means a long punt, then so be it. They've got to give themselves a chance. Gets it back. The Netherlands need to give it everything they have, kitchen sink included. Scotland have it back and they can go again. And here's to Pai, in with the challenge. Well, it remains to be seen whether they can come up with that little bit of class to rescue the situation, and it needs to be any time now, really. Brings it to a close. What a game. End to end, it flew by, and in the end, it all came down to just the odd goal. Well, they've done what they needed to here. They have bounced back from defeat on day one. It is a win that keeps them bang in contention. Your final thoughts, Jim? Well, to me, this is a result, Peter, that says an awful lot more than the scoreline suggests. You know, after the goal, the team just settled down and, and looked surprisingly comfortable and didn't really need to work too hard.